Hey everyone, here in front of us, we have a beautiful 2.16 carat diamond engagement ring from James Allen. This ring features the petite French pave band, and that's what I really wanna focus on today. This is an incredibly popular band from James Allen, and I figured it'd be a great idea to get you guys some really good close-up footage so that you can see exactly what this French pave band looks like, just in case you wanna incorporate it on your engagement ring. Now, I will post a link to this band and James Allen's engagement rings down in the video description. If you guys want to check it out, be sure to visit that link. Now, there's two different places on their website that you can actually find this band. And so I want to head over to the website. And the first place you're going to be able to find it is in the Ring Studio. And that's where I built this custom engagement ring that you're seeing here. In the Ring Studio, you can select all the different characteristics of your setting and you can build your own. So as you can see here on the side, you can select the French Pave band there. And that is the band that you're seeing in this preview window here that is incorporated in this engagement ring that you're seeing in the real life video. So that's where you're gonna find the French Pave band. Now, if you're looking for it just within the pre-made settings that are offered on James Allen, you can go to engagement rings, you can click on start with the setting. And if you scroll down here, you can see the Petite Pave Engagement Ring Flush Fit. That's gonna be the same band that you're seeing on the ring in the real life video. And if I select rose gold, you can see that it looks identical. Now keep in mind, the head of this setting is a little bit different. So you can choose the different head styles if you're within Ring Studio. If you're looking at the pre-made bands, then you're gonna to have to get the specific head that's matched with the option that you have selected. So keep that in mind. But like I said, guys, I will have links to that down in the video description if you wanna check it out. Now, the one thing that you need to consider when purchasing the Pave band is that it is quite a bit more expensive than a standard solitaire band. And not to say that that money is not well spent because it really does change the style of the ring. But if you are on a limited budget, spending that extra about $500. So the Pave band currently on James Allen's website is $1,120, but on sale for $840. Um, and the solitaire band is $430 on sale for $322. So there's about a $500 difference there. And if you're going to spend that extra $500 on the French Pave band versus a regular solitaire band, depending on your budget, that can make a pretty significant impact on the actual diamond size of your main diamond. So definitely something to think about if you have a larger budget, you know, somewhere over $5,000 or even even three to $4,000. And you say you're going with a lab diamond, you're going to have plenty of room there to get a nice sized lab diamond over one carat and still get that nice pave band. Now, on the other hand, if you are on a smaller budget, say your budget is only a thousand or $2,000, then getting that pave band can be pretty expensive and you're going to sacrifice a lot of size in your main diamond. So it's kind of a balancing act depending on your budget. But if you have the money in your budget and you really like the Pave band, I think it's a fantastic option. And you can see in this video just how amazing it looks. Now, keep in mind, this particular ring is in rose gold. So depending on what you choose, it could look a little bit different, but the overall structure of the band is going to be exactly the same. So guys, I hope you found this video very helpful. I just wanted to give you some close-up footage of this amazing band. I think it looks fantastic. And this particular ring that you see here costs $7,005. And that's with a 2.16 carat lab diamond, the French pave band, and uh, the custom six prong scalloped uh, head that you're seeing there on the top that's holding the, the uh, diamond. What an amazing ring that I was able to build in Ring Studio. A lot of people absolutely love this thing and think it looks fantastic. You know, that huge, large lab diamond. I mean, what's not to love? You can see it sparkling there in the sun like crazy. So uh, this is right as the sun just peeked out of the clouds there. And you can see it looks absolutely fantastic. So uh, there's a lot of really great options on James Allen, guys. And I think that the French Pave band is one of them. So like I said, I will have a link down in the video description. And if you guys are looking at rings on James Allen, be sure to check out my other videos because I have a ton of other videos going over uh, different pieces of these settings and different diamonds and things found on James Allen's website. So it can give you guys a little bit of a better idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to leave a like. That's all we ask if you found this video helpful. And until then, guys, we will see you in the next video. Take care and good luck on your ring shopping.